Okay, so today we're going to take apart one of my favorite tools. Uh, this is the DeWalt Tough Music Tough Case. And um, for $200, I figured I would take this apart and take a look and see what's inside. Now, I can tell you that I've had this now for almost a year, and it is an absolutely excellent Bluetooth speaker. Now, I will also say that it has a lot of screws. And that's a good thing, because you'll find a lot of these tools that they're not held together with much. But this is definitely built tough. It literally has 40 or 50 screws. So first thing I've done is take this bottom cover off. And then you can see that there's a, a subwoofer in there. And it's like four and a half inches or so. I didn't. I don't think I measured it. Anyways, it's protected. You can see there's a dual magnet on there. So it's, protect, it's uh, going to not interfere with other devices because of the magnet. On the other side, there's a passive radiator. And normally in those passive radiators, they move around pretty easy. But this is really stiff, which is a good thing because that means you get, it's going to give you tighter base out of the subwoofer, which is I thought was pretty cool. Now, the cover that was there is to add uh, for further base reflex so the base can bounce around inside over that cover that I took off. And the fact that it was secured down with so many screws is a very good thing because it's not going to rattle. I haven't had any rattling issues with it, which I was really surprised, especially at high volumes. It seems to stabilize itself when it knows that it's being overpowered. So now I'm taking screws off, trying to figure out what my next step is here. And I think it's to get these side screws off. Um, as you can see, kind of fiddling around here. And I realize I need to get these sides off. And they're uh, protected with a softer plastic um, than, the, than the bottom and the top. So it can take a little bit of a beating without cracking, which is a good thing. Now, the screws that were on the back were Phillips head. Not only go to the side, I believe that these are Allen head. Either that or Torx head. Um, and it looks like they're Torx. So as you can see, there's a lot of screws in here holding it at the edges and its most vulnerable areas, which is a good thing. So once I get those off, I can just go ahead and peel off the edges, which is good and exposes more plastic, which is good because that means that it's not just the soft part that's holding the edges together. There's actually structural plastic inside. As you can see, it's ribbed. So that's going to hold it together even better. So it can take, you know, more, more of a beating, I guess you could say. So, once I'm past this part, I think I'll be able to start going ahead and loosen up the uh, two halves and taking that part apart. So crossing my fingers, I can remember where everything is because I don't think I expected there to be this many screws in this thing. So uh, it's going to take a little bit more memory power here to get this back together. As you can see, like I said, 40 or 50 screws at least. There's the hook assembly. Um, that's what allows it to hook onto the whole, uh, to the, uh, traveling little uh, cart uh, it's held in by big screws which is a good thing so it's not going to easily rip off so as I'm taking these screws out I'm kind of feeling around and I'm realizing there there's a gasket on the edge there and there's screws under that as well so I'm going to go ahead and pull this away as you can see I've gone faster and slower and yes I should have taken the speak the damn battery out before I started that but I didn't realize it was still in there um, so now that that's off I'm going to kind of feel around and see what it's going to take to take this whole assembly off and what I'm realizing really fast here is that these are soldered on now I'm not going to get mad about that even though I don't want to have to unsolder the speaker itself that means that it's not going to come loose I mean they really thought about that when they did it it looks like it's a pulp injected speaker too um, there's no vented pull piece on this although it is it does appear to be four ohms but you can see the pulp on the inside I thought maybe it was Kevlar at first but when you look at the back you can see there's pulp so nice woofer it holds in there tight and then on the back side there's uh one more connection what is that oh that's where the battery connects right there so i'm just gonna take a close look at what we have here you can see that they protected a lot of the circuitry um and that's polyfoam right there that's polyurethane foam so I can't get past that. Once I get to this point, I can't take a lot of that apart unless I don't want to put it back together or going to have a lot of fun trying to put it back together. But all the areas where things meet, um, there's that polyfoam protecting it. And each of those boxes you're seeing on either end, those are actually the boxes protecting each of the, um, the loudspeakers on the edges, which is really good because they're all individual pods, meaning that they um, don't share a, a, the same cavity which is good for speakers because they kind of work against each other when they share the same cavity. So you're going to get better audio quality when they're, then they're put in the little boxes like that. So I'm just following this back. 
that is the antenna that goes into the handle. Uh, that is a power antenna. So a AM FM antennas that run through the handle to give you better um, start uh, station response for that. And then I'm kind of eyeballing here and see if I can get these speakers removed. I don't think so. That's the back side of the passive radiator. Like I said, that thing is no joke. It does not move very uh, very much at all. So that's that's a good thing. It's gonna give you, like I said, tighter base out of the woofer itself. So I'm um, just taking a look here a little closer, seeing if I can take anything else apart. And I forget if I do or not, because I actually recorded this video quite a while ago. I just finally sitting down to do a voiceover on it. Um, as you can see, um, everything is protected. There's foam protecting every edge of it. So if anything hits it, it's trying to mitigate damage. Um, different boards control different things. You have, you can see Bluetooth on the left side. That's uh, the Bluetooth module separate from the main board. Also a good thing. So if you have a problem, you can actually replace the Bluetooth module by itself. That's the power control module right there where the power comes in and converts it. And what am I doing now? Um, I guess I'm done. So we're going to put it back together. I can't go any farther because everything as far as the boards go are glued together. And as you can see, I think when I pulled this apart too, I yanked that and it popped it out, which is not necessarily a good thing. But um, if you do take it apart, man, beware of that. You don't want to rip, tear any wires. So yeah, it looks like I'm going to go ahead and put this back together. But yeah, you can see the giant piles of screws here that's going to take to put this together. And that's also why I sped through this a little bit because you guys don't want to watch that. That's, that's the boring part. Um, while I'm doing this, we'll talk a little bit about the Bluetooth speaker. It is very loud, except if you get into too open of an area, obviously. Um, if you're in a house or you're working um, in a closed area, plenty of sound. You get outside, it's a little less. Um, I like that they pointed the four speakers in four different directions for the most part, and that gives you more spread around sound. And because the woofer itself is protected, it has a cover over it, it gives you good bass reflex without actually having to put it in, like, in a corner or anything like that. Now, I've heard people complain about this, the um, battery. If you like bump it, it you can actually... Um, knock, uh, turn the speaker off because it only holds in there by friction. Uh, I really haven't had that problem. I've bumped it. I mean, maybe some of the earlier models had issues, but uh, so far I haven't really had a problem with it. And I mean, if you lay it flat, you're not going to knock it loose. If you put it on its side, I can see possibly knocking it down, knocking this, the, the battery out of it. So yeah, that, that could probably stand for some improvement and other areas of improvement. They obviously designed this back when uh, phones were smaller. The capsule on the top actually isn't big enough to hold an iPhone 7 or, or iPhone 6 Plus. They won't, it won't fit. So that's kind of a downside. You don't get a lot of storage area, it, you know, especially because they kind of expect you to store the power supply if you're going to run just straight off a of power supply versus the battery inside that little cubby, which takes up about half your room. So that that's kind of a downside. Um, that I know they're trying to save on size, but for, like I said, for $200, you're not going to find a better Bluetooth speaker. I mean, I've listened to them all. I've heard the DeWalt's, I mean, they have the boom boxes and stuff like that, but this has a different audio quality. I would say it's almost Bose like in its sound quality. And you're just not going to find that, especially when you hook up a four amp hour battery, as you can see, I'm turning this thing back on right now to make sure everything's functioning. Um, Yep, see, so I'm just testing it and showing you that everything's working, which it is. And I can't play sound because I swear to God, if I ever play anything that has anything that's trademarked, they'll flag my video. So um, that's why you're not getting any music. And I apologize for that, but that's just the way YouTube works with the copyrights. Um, so I'm going to continue to put this back together and back to what I was talking about as far as the sound quality goes. Um, it's just excellent. I mean, I, I take this thing everywhere with me. And... I mean, I've taken it on boats, I've let it get wet, and just haven't had no issues whatsoever. But the best part is if you hook it up to a four or five amp hour battery, I can't kill the damn thing. I mean, I've ran it for days and not killed the battery and charged phones and done everything. That using that four amp hour battery, a five amp hour battery just gives you a tremendous time to run it on. Now, I don't know what type of amplifier it's running. Um, I would imagine a class D 
and or maybe a class t amp it's definitely not an ab type as you could see when i had it apart you don't see really big fins or anything like that, and it doesn't really produce any heat um, because of that the fidelity uh, it's going to slide just a little bit but it still sounds really good uh, like i said I think you'll be amazed by what kind of audio quality you're going to get out of it. Now, if you think you're going to get, you know, theater quality sound and super loud, you're not quite going to get that in in closed area. It's pretty damn loud and pretty damn good, um, but it's not a, you know, full blown stereo system that you're going to get amazingly uh, loud sound out of. It's but it is loud. It's plenty loud for me. Um, so th given that. You know, it, like I said, I was real apprehensive at first of spending $200 on a work speaker, but I use it more than just for work. I mean, like the, like I said, we take it on camping trips with us, um, because it can charge phones when we go places on camping. Like, like I said, on a boat, you have the ability to charge your phone. I mean, it's just like a power pack on top of the fact that you're getting the speaker out of it. Anything that runs off a of USB can be charged out of it. Given that on the USB, you do not get Bluetooth, I mean, of uh, iPhone control or Android control over your, what's going on in your phone. It can only charge. It's only a charging port. But the Bluetooth audio is, uh, is plenty okay. It has a uh, headphone jack that goes in. So if you want to do a manual input as well, it'll do that. Um, the graphics, uh, the opening up tells you tough system, tough music, whatever. It looks, looks good. They did a good job with that. And it has AM, FM radio, which is a huge plus. And like I showed you kind of there for a second, um, it does have um, the antenna, uh, power antenna built into the handle. Now the light up uh, buttons and stuff are also cool. And it, it is pressure. It's not, they're not touch sensitive. Yes, you can see it's loud because it's shaking the camera right now. But I'm just verifying that everything works. Um, hooking it up to your Bluetooth was very easy. Super prices, <laughs> super selection. Visit the Nor Reeves Honda Superstore during the also, Happy Honda Day sales the, event going on now with four super convenient well. locations in Huntington Six Beach, West Covina, the Irvine Auto Center, so, and the number one Honda.com. As per American okay. Honda New Body. Vehicle Sales 2015. They actually when you're opening a new office location, but deadlines and, uh, don't let up, you need to make sure your team can start working fast. But as you can see, you stick an iPhone Plus there, you're not going to fit. And like I said, I think this is not a design flaw. I think that they designed this before phones got this big. Um, and uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass because that's the area which is weather protected. So, oops can't fit your phone so i'm hoping that if they do redesign it that um they fix that problem and given that too i actually looked on the inside of the box too i was seeing if i could cut out an area so i can make more room in there you really can't uh, here i'm showing you like the different area uh, ways you can set it you can set it flat you can set it on its side you can set it on its corner it it's really neat when you especially when you're in a tight spot where you just want to have some background music or even like a tutorial going in the background when you're working it's excellent because you can set it in so many different ways. You can't do this with the different types of boom boxes. So my time's up. Anyways, you guys like the video, comment below, and I uh, hope to have more videos up soon. Have a good day.